Little Penny Wood Incorporated. Hey, fellas! Look who decided to make an appearance! You see, it occurred to me that what I should really be doing is fighting fire with fire. And by fire, I mean Lady the Magic Engine. And by fire, I also mean Lady the Magic Engine. It occurred to me while I was on fire. I made a bunch of doppelgangers to discredit and totally destroy you. Behold, the Lady Profilolator in Nator! Lady the Magic Engine? Here? How could this be? I'm shocked. I mean, it would have taken a total evil mastermind to have guessed that you'd track me to this point, find a secret hideout, glide in under the radar, and infiltrate through this axis vent, make your way over to this crate, Right here! This is the part where I go all sarcastic and pretend you surprised me. Oh, Lady the Magic Engine! How? What the? Who the? Why the? Oh! Finally ending here, where I finish showing you my brilliant plan. You see, Lady the Magic Engine, this secret hideout doesn't actually belong to me. It belonged to my mentor, Professor Destruction Gun. Fred to his friends. Sadly, he was just captured in the midst of his latest plan to set fire to the sun! Redundant, perhaps. But before they locked him away, Fred asked a favor of me. To prevent them from discovering his hidden lair and all its secrets. Would I please set fire to the sun? I was like, dude, you really got to let that one go. It's a ball of fire, it makes no sense. So he asked me instead to simply destroy his hideout, which I will do now using my new disinvatorator. <clears throat> and you, Lady the Magic Engine, will be destroyed along with it. <laughs> Anyway, today is the day we reveal to the island of Sodor the existence of the League of Villainous Evildoor superior to every archetype of machinery! You want us to be called Love Steam? Back in the mainland in the days of my youth, there was a bully named Dustin, and he always goes around with his big black snowplow. They called him Big Black Snowplow Dustin, the bully. He was always throwing big piles of snow in my face. My first winter, snow! My first date, snow! Filming for Thomas and the Magic Railroad, snow! During my holidays in the Alps. Oddly enough, nothing. But I couldn't relax because I kept waiting for it. Anyway, the answer why I'm here is simple. Sink! Crusty Lake has a ton of sink, and this machine goes around and filters all the sink from the water. See? See? Sink! So I figured I'd go around collecting all the sink, and then use that sink in some evil way to rule the world. You know, with sink. Just think of the evil uses that goes off with sink. I, I mean, seriously, can you think of some? Cause I got nothing. I mean, look here, we all got some good uses for sink, huh? All this good stuff. And over here, nothing. All I got is some evil zinc rainator or something. And look here, I wrote big laundry. I don't even remember what the reason was. So I assumed I remembered some big genius idea. Big laundry, big laundry. I it's crazy. I I'm a crazy engine. Soon there will be nothing that can withstand the warmth of Dr. Diesel Warship 10! Doctor? Since when are you a doctor? They don't just give these out to anybody, you know. Anybody with 15 bucks, they do. That's enough looking! Ah, fuel. It's like drinking wet dinosaurs. Eating cereal looks like this. My name is Deaton, and you'll do what I say. My name is Deaton, and you'll do what I say. My name is Deaton, and you'll do what I say. My name is Deaton, and you'll do what I say. 
What? You're done already? You've only been here for like 15 seconds and I was talking for like half of that. What kind of a plumber are you? <laughs> An engine plumber? <laughs> Lady the plumber engine? Lady! Lady the magic engine! Unfortunately, my birthday has always been the lousiest day of the year. It all began on the day when I was built. Both my engineers failed to show up. It makes me so happy to be surrounded by so much evil. Oh look, it's your autobiography. It's always been a dream of mine to have you read it to me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, now I'm ready. Come on, don't be shy. Paragraph 4. Upon an evil winter's heart, go ahead. Upon an evil winter's heart, the heavy hand of regret infrequently alights. The malevolent path is one trod without the cumbersome shackles of sentimental introspect. Hmm, that's funny. I don't remember you saying spec so many times. What's the D261? You're a steam engine! <gasps> Lady the Magic Engine! I want to say that I knew it was you all along, but I can't because I didn't. Well, 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 look who's here. Lady the Magic Engine, all shackled up and no place to go. Um, I think we made too much potato salad, Paxton. I guess we'll have to give everybody a two-ton take-home container. And I still think you should have added more green onions. Well, next time, you can do all the cooking, and I'll stand around coming up with evil plans that ultimately fail. Wow, cutting deep, man. Well, you might have destroyed Plan A, but behold! Plan B! Which I have just destroyed, so now we're even. But not even I am prepared for Plan C! Behold, the Begoninator! How do you like me now, Lady the Magically God Engine? I hope you're ready for the big show, Lady the Magic Engine, because Evil Incorporated is on the air! There's two and two. There's the pit. We print your normal programming with the first annual telephone of Evil. And now live, because it's Evil spelled backwards, your host, Diesel 10! I want your money, I'm strapped for cash. I need your money, too lazy to get a job. Give me your money, I'm not being funny. Give me your money today! This is a brilliant work of satire. It's my new favorite show. Curse you, Lady the Magic 